Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slippery Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I have uh, about 40 to 50 how to cook brisket videos on YouTube on my channel. One of the most popular videos I have out there is how to cook brisket hot and fast called 10 Fundamentals of Hot and Fast Brisket. Even though that brisket video is very popular, I get a lot of questions from people saying, what's the difference, Harry, between a low and slow versus a hot and fast brisket? You are in luck because uh, one of my Patreons wants to know and I'm shooting a special episode for him so that it will benefit everybody out there on what is the difference between cooking a brisket hot and fast, low and slow. There are many different variables that we are going to juggle. So in order to have a fair test, I am going to actually have to cook three grades of brisket. This one is a select a choice, and a prime. So you can see from the degree of marbling, I hope the camera can see this, you can see a lot of fat on the prime, a little bit less of the striation and the fat and marbling on the choice, and then not very much marbling at all on the select brisket. They all behave differently, and we're going to cook three briskets in uh, hot and fast and low and slow. So you're probably wondering, wait a minute, Harry, you only have three briskets. You need six briskets. Well, I found a solution to the problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the brisket exactly in half. We're going to cook half of it low and slow, half of it hot and fast. And we're going to do that for all three briskets. So we're going to cook six pieces in this mega hot and fast versus low and slow brisket throwdown. You can see the three grades of brisket from the cross-section on the marbling. The one with most marbling is the uh, prime. Moving on to the choice and then moving on to the select. So the select is not a lot of marbling all the way to the prime has a lot of marbling. So these are the three we're going to cook hot and fast. In case you're wondering why I have these toothpicks on the briskets, is so that I can keep track of uh, what I'm cooking. So I'm doing hot and fast, low and slow, select choice and prime, and the number on my sheet corresponds to the number of toothpicks, so that when I wrap it later on, I'm not going to get confused, and I can do a taste test comparing the select hot and fast against the low and slow select. Similar for the choice and for the prime to give you guys the overall results of this hot and fast, low and slow throwdown. We are at 400 degrees, time to go ahead and put it in. Taken one for the team and uh, had to eat a total of 12 samples twice. So <laughs> that's like 24 bites of food from the point and the flat on the low and slow, hot and fast select. So that's four pieces. Then we ate the four pieces from the low and slow and the hot and fast choice grade. And then we ate the four pieces, two from the point and the flat from the low and slow, and the point and the flat from the hot and fast. Drum roll, please. So, looks like I'm you know, taking a beating for you guys out there, but you know, what I can I say? I love you guys, and you guys asked me the question, so let me try to summarize my conclusion. Overall, number one, this is not a mathematically sound test. This is only anecdotal, so please 
you know, refrain from sending me comments that, hey, it's only three briskets, how can you draw conclusions? I'm not gonna draw conclusions, I am just gonna tell you what my impressions are. On the select, uh, I honestly, to be very honest, I, I didn't care for either way. On the select, uh, some of you can say, I don't know how to cook select. I admit, select is usually quite tough, hard to cook. Uh, that's why I prefer not to cook selects. The difference between select and a choice is maybe like 30 cents a pound. My recommendation is uh, if you can, just don't bother with select briskets. Just cook choice and above. Uh, for those of you who complain that I don't know how to cook select, I admit I don't know how to cook select as good as I can do a choice or a prime. So overall appearance wise on the select, uh, it's kind of okay. It cooked really fast. The hot and fast took about uh, two and a half hours, three hours to crust and then followed by another wrap phase about two hours. So the hot and fast on all three briskets cooked about five hours total time. Three in the pit, two hours wrap. On the low and slow, I did it around kind of 250 versus the 400 for the hot and fast. Uh, it took about probably six to seven hours to get it to crust properly and then another two or three hours in the BTU area. Whether you want a BTU in your pit or BTU in the oven is okay, doesn't really matter. Uh, it took about a total of eight to nine hours. So you can see the contrast in the cook, right? One cook is about five hours, the next cook is about nine hours. So it's obviously a time saver if you cook hot and fast. On the select, uh, I, I would say I don't like both, so I'm not gonna even talk about it. I'm gonna say it's a draw, right? But let's let's focus on something that's more important. On the choice and the uh, prime, I, I do see some distinct patterns. The crust on the Low and slow seems a little bit darker. And I think that that's just because it's in the pit a lot longer. It's in the pit for about six hours versus three hours for the hot and fast method. So in terms of the crust, I would give the crust a little edge on the low and slow versus hot and fast. And that's true for the choice and the prime. Now, um, what is interesting is on the choice itself, the flat tasted better, more tender. However, the point on the choice in the hot and fast was better than the low and slow point, which is quite interesting. So uh, I guess, you know, if you want to cook hot and fast, cook the point for choice, great. And if you want to cook low and slow, the best is the flat. So go figure. It's kind of a, a split decision here. And it could be just the variability of the meat and the variability of the cook on the day that I cooked it. So also could be me having the variability between the two. Uh, it's not possible to cook two identical pieces even though they were cut in half from one packer brisket. Coming up to the prime, uh, I'm noticing that I actually uh, feel that overall the low and slow is better. I think that the prime had a longer time to render the fat because it's a lot more fatty. The hot and fast prime, uh, I didn't feel that all of the fat rendered. So particularly on the point itself, it still tastes a little greasy. So I, I don't think that in a prime, the hot and fast is as good as the low and slow on the point muscle because the point is just a lot of fatty. Uh, on the body itself, on the, on the flat itself, on the prime, it was pretty decent. So I, I would say on the prime brisket, the low and slow versus the hot and fast, on the flat muscle, it's a tie. But on the point muscle, which is a lot fattier, the hot and fast did not seem to kind of render the fat completely. So if you if you like a really oily brisket, that's okay. Uh, if you prefer the point completely rendered of all fat, where you just taste the pure beef heaven, the low and slow method is better. What's my conclusion overall? At the end of the day, I always tell you guys, it's never about the pit, it's always a pit master. If you reuse either methods, whether you wanna spend five hours cooking your brisket or you wanna spend nine hours cooking your brisket, at the end of the day, it's still your skill as the pit master that matters. There's minor variations across the board. I would say the variations are not statistically significant considering I just cooked three brisket, select, choice, and prime, cut in half. So it's not really a conclusive test. I really had a lot of fun trying out this experiment on behalf of my viewer request. Uh, why don't you guys try this at home and cook it hot and fast and low and slow and tell me what is your outcome and which do you like better. Enough of me talking. Uh, Beans has been jumping on me the, all the past few minutes as I've been trying to talk 
and I'm gonna go give him a sample of each. Uh, there's a lot of food here, so I don't give so much meat. I'll just give him a taste of the hot and fast from one muscle, so I'll give him a total of six pieces. Are you happy, Beans? He's happy to get six servings of brisket today. Okay, I have uh, six pieces here from the point in the flat, and uh, these are from the prime choice and select. We'll see what Mr. Beans like. Ready to go, Beans? Okay, go ahead. He's moving it down. He's starting actually on the select side, eating him his way around in a counterclockwise direction. So I guess he doesn't really worry too much whether it's a prime choice or select grade. It's all good. Right, Mr. Beans? Are you licking your chops now? You waited patiently for, what, 10 minutes while I had to do the taste testing very patiently. Good job, Beans. Thanks for watching my episode on my mega throwdown with three different brisket types, cooking hot and fast and low and slow. I want to do a shout out for my Patreons who are keeping the lights on in my channel to allow me to offer free content on YouTube so that it helps cover some of the production costs and keep the lights on on my channel. So until the next video, we will see ya.